so at a time where we are having these conversations uh, here on CNBC and, and particularly from the business standpoint about around discussions, dynamics involving diversity and the ways companies are trying or perhaps in some cases not trying to employ more of it uh, within their ranks. Certainly, you have been very busy at Eaton when I see numbers like 50 percent of the board of directors are women or minorities, 50 percent of global leadership team, U.S. minorities. How long have you been working on this? What are some of the plans and some of the protocols you've put into place? And how long has it taken for all of this to essentially take root? Hey, well, I appreciate, you know, the, the commentary and, and Eaton uh, as a company. We've always been, you know, what we call a values-based company. And so very much throughout our history and, and the prior chairman and CEO of Eaton, Sandy Cutler, you know, the company has always, you know, put their values first. And certainly for Eaton, as we think about what we stand for as an organization, we talk about, you know, why do we do what we do? We talk about as a company, we want to improve the quality of life and the environment through the work that we do as a power management company. But beyond that, we have a number of what we call aspirational goals. And one of those aspirational goals is that we want to be a model in our industry of inclusion and diversity. And so this is something that has been with our company for a very long time. And we are extremely proud of the fact that half our board is diverse. And we're extremely proud of the fact that half our leadership team is diverse. Is uh, diverse. But it did take time. It, it, like all of these changes, you know, the opportunity has to occur at the time that uh, you know, you're actually looking for an opportunity to, uh, to replace somebody. And, and so, yes, it's taken time, but we're absolutely thrilled uh, with the progress that we've made as a company. And, I, and I, I would say that as we think about corporations in general, I'd say corporations in general, I would say, I would acknowledge that they've made progress. Uh, I would tell you that progress for women has been the most uh, substantial uh, you know, over the last 12 years, women, you know, have increased their diversity of, amongst uh, boards by some 10 points. I will tell you that progress amongst the minority community has not nearly been uh, as uh, outstanding. In fact, over that same period of time, some 12 years of time, minority representation on boards has only increased by about two points. And when you look at the African-American community, the progress has been even more meager. In fact, over that same period of time, African-Americans' representation on boards has only increased by half a point over a 12-year period. Uh, and so clearly, we have work to do as a society to continue to advance our broader objectives around inclusion and diversity. And certainly, in the African-American community, we have more work to do than almost anywhere else. And you know, I'm certainly proud to be here today. Uh, representing uh, a CEO, one of six, actually, uh, CEOs of large U.S. companies. I know sometimes they report for, there's a couple of us who, where companies are yeah. headquartered outside of the U.S. But, but, but clearly, six is not enough. Uh, the, back in 2002, we actually yeah. had seven African-American CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. And so the numbers have not improved. Yeah. Uh, I, I tell you that more concerning, if we take a look at the... Uh, yeah. Center for Talent Innovation, they found that African-Americans account today for about 3.2% of senior leadership roles. Uh, and this number is also largely yeah. unchanged for the last 10 years. And so 10 years of talk with not a lot of progress. And so clearly we, Which the is... corporation, business community can do better and we need to do better. 